Hey guys, it's me, but always my sports fans. It's your Kitty Plus wants to thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of the VLR vlog series, so let's get right into it. So, uh, I haven't been doing too many VLR vlogs, and, I, and I'm going to make a video explaining more um, about where videos have been and the consistency and things. Um, but I want to, because, you know, I haven't done... Um, uh, very con very constant uh, VLR vlogs, and I want to explain why just in case if you don't know uh, The reason why I haven't do been doing so many consistent VLR vlogs um, I don't want to say it's because of being busy, but you know uh, there has been a lot going on but the other reason is because and the primary reason uh, is because my my time at VLR and my um, my learning experiences are kind of running up uh, the clock, so to speak. Like I I'm starting to get to my point where my updates uh, for you guys aren't as uh, informative uh, as to what I'm learning because like for Braille for instance, let's just use Braille as an example to start with here. Um, for Braille, uh, I I'm doing uh, writing on the uh, Braille Edge. Uh, I'm doing that. Uh, well for grade one and grade two braille uh, for slate and stylist I'm still doing uh, good with that however I'm having some reversals every once in a while for for uh, doing braille on slate and stylist um when you know, and reading wise, reading's going fantastic. You know, reading documents, reading uh, books, things like that. That's going pretty good. So there's really not much to update you there. Um, as to like, I mean, pretty much right now I'm, I'm just getting my speed up. I'm, you know, confirming, uh, different things, looking at different symbols. Um, the only thing I can really give you an update on is I'm really getting more into, um, uh, consistency of, 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 uh, looking at HTML and, and Braille, particularly using the Braille edge with a computer. Uh, that is going fantastic. Uh, it's just, um, there isn't too many, too much to update you guys on. However, um, for technology, there is a couple of things that I want to update you guys on that, the, thus this video right now. Um, so, uh, something I'm going to explain in the next video, um, you know, well, not the next VLR vlog, but the next video that I upload with this one, uh, is something very, you know, awesome that, uh, my local state agency, State Services for the Blind, was able to assist me with, um, I'm going to explain that further. However, one of the things that they did get me with it um, was JAWS. Now, I've been a long time user of NVDA, and because of that, um, you know, it's been continuously recommended to me that I should have a JAWS as well. And if you don't know what JAWS is or what NVDA is, they're both screen readers. NVDA is the free open source version of, a, you know, a, a major screen reader that a lot of people use, and JAWS is a professional. Uh, version that is a paid, um, you know, paid product. Uh, however, um, if you do not know, JAWS is very pricey. JAWS is a thousand dollars for three, I think it's uh, three versions that you can upgrade to for a screen reader. Um, and three versions meaning like years. So, like right now, 2018 is my first year, 2019 is my second year. And 2020, or uh, sorry, uh, I have 2018 now. So 2019 would be my first year, 2020 would be my next year, and 2021 would be my third year. Uh, and then I would have to pay for uh, a new subscription if I wanted anything above that. However, I since um, since I have the the uh, Jaws subscript or the Jaws product key, um, I I will have Jaws. Uh, I think it was 21. 21 or 22, uh, you know, regardless if I don't upgrade. So that will always be available to me. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, but that's, that's, um, th that's, you know, th they helped me get that, um, because it's been recommended because I'm going into education. I'm also going into coding and things like that. So I need something that's a lot more, um, reliable and a lot more stable in some cases, as well as, uh, having both tools that do some do one does one things and the other does some other things, you know, having both of them really makes a good powerhouse of, um, of, uh, resources to pull from. Uh, but anyways, in particular in JAWS, um, I've been learning more and more keystrokes, learning more different types of things. Like I said, you guys out there, uh, if you don't know, I've been a heavy mouse user for the longest time. And I'm getting more and more heavy into keystrokes and using the keyboard primarily only. Um, so uh, for me, for JAWS, um, 
the, the interesting thing is because I've been a long time NVDA user and I've been learning NVDA keystrokes, uh, not only before I went to VLR, but also during, um, we're also rounding off um, JAWS. Now I've been learning JAWS keystrokes for a while now, and I'm getting more in depth uh, now that I actually have um, the full version of JAWS on my computer, because we've been playing around with a demo um, b before uh, we've actually gotten a product key. And um, it's going good. It's going good. Uh, I'm really finding that a lot of programs, you know, that JAWS, you, the JAWS can coincide with are working pretty well. Uh, I do still have some thoughts, which I'm going to bring to my teacher, um, you know, my technology teacher coming up this uh, week, you know. Uh, but ultimately, um, we are like within the first week of September, at least when this video is created. And... I'm, you know, I'm at a substantial point where I have learned pretty much all I can uh, from Braille and then from technology. From this point on, it's really branching out to the education spectrum or from working with other people, things like that. I've really hit that mark where I need to either go to, I either need to go and talk or do some experience with some sort of, um, you know, work related thing for uh, web accessibility and content, things like that, or really need to look at some sort of educational concepts. Um, and, or another thing that I need to do is I need to, um, figure out Braille Nemeth code, uh, that thing as well. Uh, that, however, I can't get in Vision Last Resources because there isn't currently someone who teaches it there. So I'm hoping that there is, that there's a local tutor. Uh, that I would be able to work one-on-one -on -one with. If not, I will probably uh, look at Hadley Institute for the Blind. Um, be again, because when I did originally do Hadley for the Nemeth code, it was actually unfortunately a bad timing. Uh, so I had, to, I had to cancel the class, unfortunately. But um, that is the plan thus far. So uh, basically going forward, uh, you know, I, I have some videos for you guys. Like I said, I have something related to JAWS that uh, is, I can't even possibly thank uh, State Services for the Blind uh, for. I have something for you guys to take a look at in a future video. But otherwise, thank you guys so very, very much for viewing this video. Remember, the perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I'll see you guys in future VLR vlogs.